Are you developers tired of literally like hackers playing your Roblox game? They could be doing all kind of stupid things like who knows, maybe one will fly, one will like freaking, I don't know, kill all players in the map. Or worst of all, one just literally use like some random program or like somehow they just hack the game and they maybe they get something as powerful as a band hammer, just like mine right now. And obviously these hackers ain't gonna do the good to the game they're gonna either like make themselves like the strongest player illegally or they could just do some stupid thing like I don't know use the ban hammer to ban a player obviously like an innocent player just like this guy well today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys could literally ban these hackers alright guys now let's remove all the bad players shall we what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to service script service we're gonna hit plus let's add a normal script and then we're gonna remove everything and we're gonna start typing our connect function. So we're gonna type game dot players and then dot player added and then colon connect. And then we gotta type parentheses function and let's add another parentheses too. And inside this set of parentheses, let's let's pass in a player parameter. So we're gonna type player. Just like this. Let's go one arrow right now and then just hit enter. And now our function been set up, our connect function. Now let's start typing, all right? So what we're gonna type is we're gonna first detect the player. And in order to do this, we're gonna type if player dot name and then two equal signs just like this. Let's put quotation marks. And now the question is, what do we put in the damn quotation marks? We're gonna be putting the player's username we wanna ban. So I'm in studio right now and I'm obviously gonna test the game in studio. So literally what you have to do is if you really want to see if your script works, then you have to ban yourself. I know this might sound like a really stupid and outrageous thing to do, but that's like literally the only way on how like you could test in studio. That's like the, the fastest and yeah. Although like we're testing in studio, if we put like a different username, a different player username, and when they play the game like with the Roblox player, not studio, then they'll get banned too, but we're going to be putting our username in. So my username is I give it a developer. Be sure to follow that account. And this is my username. So when I join in now, I'm going to be banned, but there's still more to type. So to make this actually work. So this is my username, right? We're going to go one arrow, right? Space, then ban. We're going to type then. And we're going to type player, colon, kick. And then parentheses. And now when we join in the game, you see I got banned. So basically every time I try to join a game, no, ma no matter how many countless times I try to join a game, I'm banned. You could do one more for an even better demonstration. And you see, I have, I tried three times, three attempts, but they all failed because they kicked me out of the game since I scripted that basically it kicks the player right when that person, certain player joins. And the certain players I gave it developers, so it's a 100% chance that you're gonna, get, you're gonna get kicked depending on whoever puts here. Whatever username you put here, that user shall be kicked forever so we could consider that as a ban but there's still ways there's like still like more things we could do in the script so we could basically like make the ban like more stylish and what I mean by stylish is we could add like a message so what we could do is we could type here we could put literally like quotation marks and then we could type like a reason why so for example like a common reason why we should kick a player is probably by banning Probably I'm no. I mean because they're hacking, so we could type, "Yo, you've been hacking. You think I don't got eyes?" We could type something like that. And once you got your message set up, you could hit play. And then you see when when like when I try and join the game, it kicks me out, and it now has a message. So before it was like the default like message of getting kicked, but now I added like a reason, which is, "Yo, you've been kicked." You been, I mean, yo, you've been hacking. You think I don't got eyes. That's what I wrote. And that, of course, there's an error code. And then all everything the player can do, like they could just only leave. So they're out now. There's still more ways to, to like add style. So if you want to like target the username, the player's username, like for the kick reason, what you could do is right before the quotation marks, we could type player.name. And then now it's going to say the player's username first. And then now, after, I, I want to put like three um periods before I start saying my line so they could see like, they could see what I'm going to say. And now, 
let's try playing and see how it looks so when I join in you see it might not work and the reason why is you need to add two more periods after the player name and then now like it is separated so now let's play and that's like another like mistake that a lot of developers do so as you guys can see now it says the player's username that like got kicked and now it says I game developer yo you've been hacking you think I don't got eyes and yep that's pretty much how you make this pretty much how you ban a player in Roblox studio I mean in your Roblox game it's just like this very fast and simple code and I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye guys